Greetings audience, I'm Boomstick, and today we're going to be looking at a chronograph. If you've watched my videos for a while, you've probably seen my chronograph. It's big, it's bulky, but it's a good chronograph, and I've really enjoyed it. Up until I got this. This is the Saturn Nerf Ballistic Chronograph V4 uh, by LEGO DEI. It's on Etsy, and I'll make sure to have that linked down in the description. This chronograph is able to measure up to 400 FPS within a 1% margin of error and can measure a firing rate up to 10 rounds a second. It's compatible with mega darts, rival rounds, half lengths, full lengths, missiles, Titan rockets, you name it. The version I have is powered by a 9 volt battery which sits in there very nicely. I'm actually impressed how how compact this is. You flip the switch, turns it on, you get this nice little display on top which gives you your your shot number, your average, your FPS, your rounds per second. It uses two IR sensors here in the front, here in the back, and it's basically measuring the time it takes to go from one sensor to the other and that gives you your FPS. I'm gonna measure it using my Dart Zone Mark II using Worker darts that I have lying around. All right, ready? All right. Didn't read. Didn't read. One o three. One forty two. 135, 112, a couple more back in. Now worker threes I found are not the best start for this blaster, but it's what I have a lot of at this point. Oof, 89, 133, missed. 142. Now, while I have it here, you'll see that it switched to a horizontal view, which I have yet to figure out why it keeps switching on me. See, it tries to it tries to adjust for when it's horizontal. But like right now it's viewing the vertical. Which is not a huge deal, it's just weird that it keeps doing that. Yeah, see, now it's switched back again. So it doesn't like to move around a whole lot from what I've seen. Uh, when you turn it on, it likes to stay in one spot, which is not the easiest thing to do, considering it's so small and easily bumped. So once you have it set up, try to leave it still. Let's try some different ammo types, starting with Mega. Sixty-five. Rival shotgun blast. <laughs> I don't think that was accurate. Because <laughs> that was a reading of 192. <laughs> Let's try that one again. Didn't read. Come on. That seems more right. Now for double double half lengths. Now I do not have as much space as I would like. So hopefully that's not messing everything up. 55. That one worked well. So what do I think of the Saturn's Nerf Ballistic Chronograph? I like it. Now it's not perfect, 
as you saw, I had several times where I was having trouble reading because you do have a pretty narrow area where you can fire over. So it does work, but you have to have pretty good aim to get it over that sensor or else it won't read properly. Which is not a big deal because that just comes down to having to take a couple more shots. For 30 bucks, that's not bad considering the chronograph I had was not $30. So for your personal chronograph, I actually do highly recommend the Saturn Nerf Ballistic Chronograph. It's really easy to store. You can change out the nine volt pretty easily. You'll learn, you'll kind of figure out how to deal with certain things. Like I had one shot that I knew was clearly not correct, but then future shots held out pretty well. Uh, one thing that I would suggest is what I'm not doing is having the proper space to where the darts aren't flying back and messing with the chronograph readings. But other than that, yeah, this is, this is a good chronograph. It's, well worth it and honestly i recommend pretty much every nerfer grab one of these for their own testing purposes if you guys have any thoughts on the saturn's nerf ballistic chronograph v4 leave them down in the comments down below if you like this video go ahead and give it a like and if you want to see more go ahead and hit that subscribe button and maybe even ring that bell thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next video i've been boosting and i'm out